It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? Today I got a nice metal miniature for us. We have Jana Frostwind Barbarian, sculpted by Bobby Jackson. I do really enjoy Bobby Jackson's work, so uh, this is going to be a treat because, because it's a metal, because it's in the Dungeon Dwellers line. I do love Reaper's Dungeon Dwellers line as well, so I love it when they, uh, I really enjoyed it when they rebooted that. This cost me well fuck all it cost me nothing so um basically you go to reaper site and if you order more than a certain amount of dollars with a product i believe it's either 40 dollars or 50 dollars. i think it's 40 they um not only do you get free shipping but they give you a choice of one of 12 miniatures you can choose from to be your free miniature of the month the month i purchased this was probably two months ago so i want to say maybe february and so i more or less got this you know um free for their promotion for that month um that was also the same one where they were giving away the bones usa figure so so that was uh, kind of cool too and then uh i got they usually just give all sorts of cool free stuff out so um so yeah and they're i think they're doing their um the reaper con all virtually this time so you can buy like their promo packs directly from them and so that's some good stuff so we got looks like some weapons here so that's all kind of tangled up in that that's okay we will uh we will get through this we will get through this okay so we have our jana jana and uh we have her in all of her glory i like the shield i like how it bulges out yet you have like the cap around it that's uh something i have not really seen in a miniature before it looks like we have a bit of a loincloth like some sort of beast cloth going on down there some leather boots with some fur on them that's going to be easy to paint we have uh, a little bag right here and then we it looks like we have a horned helmet and it looks like that might be like a nose guard let me take a look here oh zoom don't fail me now nope that is just a nose that is there we go here so that that's a nose so is there something i don't like about the miniature no you want to know why because you're noticing she's missing her arm well the sculptor bobby jackson was nice enough to give you a choice of two different weapons to use so if you want to go for the sword you got your one-handed sword but you also got your bearded axe right here so you can go ahead and um, use that as well. So, you know, and it's cool because it gives you a bit. So you can either attach this on with magnets if you're way into Warhammer 40K and like to put everything on magnets. You can do that. If not, you can just choose one of the weapons, glue it on there, and then maybe you got a bit for maybe another, you know, miniature you have that's missing a hand or you want to switch the weapon on. Those are all good options. So that is cool. I like that. It comes with a slotted round base. Now the base is a little bit more than the one inch by one inch or the 28 by 28 millimeters. So it looks like this base, because it's got this ridiculous little quarter round lip on it, it looks like on the US Imperial system, you're gonna have that measure in at right around like just a little over an inch 16th is what you got for that. Or if you want to go to anywhere, any other country but the United States, it looks like you're looking at possibly three centimeters. So it is, it is two full millimeters bigger than a normal, um, uh, normal standard 28 by 28 millimeter base. That's what we got going on there. And as far as the miniature herself goes, without measuring the slotta, or the slot base, uh, we have, it's going to be, yeah, just probably about... Oh, bloody hell. Almost about an inch and a half tall. And then you got maybe a, a tad shorter than that. And then you got about 35 millimeters tall on the, uh, the metric system side of things. So with that in mind, we're just going to loose fit that right here. Which, yeah, that's kind of cool. It just kind of fits in like that. Um, not not a fan of the uh, the round bases, so I might uh, do some modifications just to make sure that uh, it kind of fits to my style. Or I might just paint this one and sell it because I do have quite a few female barbarians. 
um, though I really do like the sculpt. So we have that. And then we have our Sir Four Scale here um, included um, in this um, for scale purposes only. So um, yeah, we have that, which I am contemplating ordering the metal version of him. This is actually a Reaper Bones version of Sir Four Scale. So if we get our focus going on here, you can actually see that the sword, even though it's painted, um, bends like it's made out of Reaper Bones material because, well, it is. I got it for like, I think it's like two or three dollars. So um, I, there's actually a video about Sir Forskill or Sir Garrick the Bold that I have on my channel that you're welcome to take a look at. But anyway, this is what I got going on today. Um, thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you, in fact, disliked it for some reason or another, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs down. I don't think I offended hardly anybody this go around. But uh, give me a minute. I'll make sure to fix that. And then, um, yeah, if you uh, you know if so inclined to subscribe to my channel to help me towards my goal of 1,000 subscribers, you are more than welcome to do so. And uh, I heard uh, YouTube's going to be changing a lot about how they do advertising and all that stuff lately. So, you know what? Who knows? I might not get any monetization at all. Um, I might be just a little too late to the race, even though I've had the show going on for, for a few years and got a couple hundred videos posted. Apparently, I'm just not funny enough. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope this pandemic is soon behind us and we are once again rolling some dice on an actual table. And I hope everyone stays safe and I uh, wish for the best. Thank you for watching.